Hi everyone, my name is Malik Miradov and I'm a member of uh, Anatolian Turkish Islamic Center. And I would like to share my screen. I hope you can see that. All right. So yeah, a little bit about, about the Anatolian Turkish Islamic Center. Uh, we are uh, found by uh, people uh, mostly from Turkish background uh, and Turkic as well. So uh, I, I put in here our core values. So what makes us different than there are many many other organizations, Islamic or, or Turkish. So our difference is we are dedicated to serve the community in accordance with the law of Canada and the universal humanitarian values. Second, we fight against all extremism, radicalism, exclusion, and discrimination. And we are against all kinds of violence. Thirdly, we promote multiculturalism, tolerance, and intercultural interface and intra-faith dialogue between the different uh, schools of Muslims. Lastly, we serve through education, dialogue, community service, and humanitarian aid to help eliminate or reduce ignorance, violence, conflict, and poverty in their respective communities. And uh, so this is our core, core values. We are related to Hizmet movement uh, that was found in Turkey by a scholar named Fethullah Gulen. We are inspired by his uh, ideas and uh, his writings. That's kind of who we are. Now, uh, in terms of our, uh, the topic of, of this uh, Interfaith Harmony Week, it is harmonious connections. So for that, we have, uh, we have our member Selim and uh, our uh, member Nadire. They are going to share a verse from Quran. Selim is going to read in Arabic and uh, Miss Nadire is going to read the translation that we want to share what is uh, what does islam teaches about harmonious connections so uh, first of all i would like to ask uh, mr selim to introduce himself and also miss nadira to introduce herself hi my name is nadira i have been in here for 2 years Hi, um, I'm Selim, Selim Yaksi. I've been in Canada since 2017. I'm working as a chaplain in Calgary Remand Center. And we are so much honored to be here, a part of this great event. Thank you very much. Thank you, I appreciate that. Yes, uh, and also, uh, I forgot to mention that uh, one of the activities of Anatolian Turkish Islamic Center is to support the chaplaincy in the prison system. So basically uh, we are trying to help uh, mostly Muslim uh, youth in the jail uh, and uh, sponsoring programs and uh, materials to help them uh, to get out of that criminal cycle. So that's one of the main activities of Anatolian Turkish Islamic Center. All right, Mr. Selim. Mr. Selim, uh, the floor is yours. Are you with us?
So this is a verse in the Quran uh, that uh, Mr. Selim is going to read. And uh, so it has, uh, I'm going to share the meaning of it in uh, just a bit as well. So let's just uh, sit back, relax, and uh, listen to Mr. Selim's beautiful recitation. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Mr. Selim. Now, Miss Nadir is going to share the meaning of it with us. Oh, mankind, we created you from a single of male and female and made you into nations and tribes that you may know each other, not that you may despise each other. Verily, the most honored of you in the sight of Allah is the most righteous of you. Mm -hmm. So I'll let you just. Uh, Digest that a bit. So basically in this ayah, uh, God is telling us that he created us from the Adam and Eve, same mother and, uh, and the father, and made us into nations and tribes and uh, so that we may know one another. So basically underlining the fact that we are coming from the same parents. And the honor is only by the righteousness, not by the, the tribe or by the nationality, by the color of our skin. So this is the message uh, that that we wanted to share from the Quran. And now uh, I would like to share uh, what we call is hadith. Uh, so the, the saying of Prophet Muhammad, uh, the messenger who brought Islam to us. 
All mankind is from Adam and Eve. An Arab has no superiority over a non-Arab, nor a non-Arab has any superiority over an Arab. Also, a white has no superiority over a black, nor a black has any superiority over a white, except by piety and good action. So piety and good action are the only things that make someone superior, not the race, not the nationality, not the color of the skin. So this is the message of Islam, and this is how we understand it. As you might already know, there are uh, Muslims from all corners of the world. So Islam uh, was accepted by many because it, it, it could uh, encompass uh, everyone. It's not a, a religion uh, for, for a nation. It's not a religion for a particular country. It is uh, very universal. So this is what we wanted to share. And now uh, I, have a, I have a video that uh, I want to share with you. So you can relax a bit. And also uh, if you have questions, we're going to take the questions. And then towards the end, uh, I'm going to ask Mr. Salim to, uh, to read us some more Quran. If you are interested to, to listen to more of the, of the recitation of the Quran, uh, you could stay at the end of the, of the program. So I'm going to stop share the screen and I'm going to share a different screen now. Okay, raise your hand if you can see my screen share. Okay, awesome. So this young gentleman is going to sing us about uh, his love for Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Peace be upon him. Malik, um, you need to share the sound as well as the video. You might want to start that again. Oh, sorry. There's, so, a, little, there's a little box near the bottom that will share sound. You need oh, to take that. Okay. Do you see that? Says share sound, right? Yes. Okay, raise your hand if you can hear it.
I hope you enjoyed that uh, sharing. All right, uh, we didn't want to pile up everything uh, on top of each other, trying to put too much information out there. We just uh, want to uh, ask for the questions so we can uh, go from there. <clears throat> 